a very important concept of phrases and that type of phrase is referred to as a prepositional phrase. Now first let us discuss about phrases as to what basically phrases are. Now phrase is a collection of words which make some sense but they do not make a complete sense. Uh, which means that uh, we can also say that a phrase does not contain a subject and a predicate of its own. Neither will it contain a verb. It will just contain collection of words which on its own individual, on the individual basis will make some sense. But if we say that this is a complete sentence that will also be wrong. And now let us discuss about prepositional phrase. A prepositional phrase, now from the word prepositional it is clear that that phrase will contain a preposition and along with the preposition it will contain an object. So the phrases which contain preposition and an object are referred to as prepositional phrase. So the definition will be The phrase which contains a preposition and an object is referred to as A prepositional phrase. Here it is referred to as a prepositional phrase, a phrase which contains a preposition along with the object. It refers to a prepositional phrase, which means that a prepositional phrase contains a, it will have one preposition and one object. And this object can be a noun, it can be a clause or it can be a gerund as well. It can be a noun, it can be a clause or a gerund. A gerund is what? Basically a verb ending with ing. Gerund is basically a verb which is ending with ing and it acts as a noun. So this is how you describe a gerund. So it can act as a noun, a gerund or a clause. Now example of prepositional phrases can be, when we talk about the example, the example can be Jack and Jill went up the steep hill. And when I'm saying up the steep hill, this becomes my prepositional phrase. Why does it become my prepositional phrase? Because it contains a preposition in it. And the object over here is my hill. So up the, up the steep hill becomes my prepositional phrase. Why? It does contain a preposition and it also contains an object. That object over here is my noun. Another example can be my school is behind this park. When I am saying that my school is behind this park, behind over here is my preposition and park over here is the object. So behind this park can be referred to as a prepositional phrase. Another example can be the car is parked. Beyond the 
this reservoir. Now beyond this reservoir means that you cross the reservoir and then my car is parked. So the car is parked beyond this reservoir. Beyond is again my preposition and reservoir is the object. So it is a prepositional phrase. So behind this park, up the steep hill, beyond this reservoir. Now when I just consider behind this park, it is making some sense. Right? Behind this park means that it is behind the park. Right? So I can understand behind this park. But what is behind this park is not clear. Which means that it makes some sense. But again it is incomplete. Why? Because some words have to be added before it to make it more clear. Then I talk about beyond this reservoir. Okay, on its own, I can understand that beyond this reservoir, I mean that you need to cross that reservoir and then something is being talked about which is behind that reservoir. But again, I need to complete the sentence so that I can understand that what is beyond that reservoir or what is happening beyond the reservoir. So it means that a phrase is, does not make complete sense. It just makes some sense. Now, uh, for prepositional phrases, the most commonly used prepositions are beyond, behind, above, at, below, on, in, into, across. So these are some of the commonly used prepositions. All those prepositions which are commonly used can act as a prepositional phrase as well. Now, a very important concept of prepositional phrase is that prepositional phrases can be used to modify nouns. Now, when I'm saying prepositional phrase, Modify or I can say can modify nouns. Now, what do we call those words which modify nouns? Those are referred to as adjectives. Which means that prepositional phrase for nouns can act as an adjective. So here in bracket I can say adjectives. And why adjectives? Because when prepositional phrase acts upon noun, then they behave as adjective. When prepositional phrase, prepositional phrase acts upon noun, then they behave as adjectives. Why? Because adjectives modify the noun and therefore they can also be referred to as adjective phrase. So the prepositional phrase which can modify the noun are referred to as adjective phrase. Why? Because whenever the prepositional phrase acts upon the noun, they start behaving as adjectives and we know that adjectives actually uh, modify the noun and therefore they can be also called adjective phrase. So one example of adjective phrase can be the dog in the middle is the cutest. When I'm saying in the middle here in is my preposition and here the middle is defining the place of the dog. So now here when the place is described here it gives the answer of where. It gives the answer of where and where I say that in the middle is defined as cutest. Therefore this becomes my adjective phrase. Why? Because here I am getting the answer of where. So, in the middle is my adjective phrase. Another example can be, I buy fruits 
from the store on the main street. Now on the main street over here is my adjective phrase. Why? I can also say on the street. Now my street is defined as main. Therefore it has modified the street. It is also used with the preposition. Therefore it gives the answer of where. Here main is my adjective. And because this adjective is modifying the noun, I can consider this to be my adjective phrase. So, first we have talk, talked about the prepositional phrase which can modify nouns. Now we will be talking about the prepositional phrase which can modify verbs. So now the second way is the prepositional phrase which act as Prepositional phrase can modify verbs and when prepositional phrase modifies verb then we call them as adverbs. We call the modifying verbs as adverbs. Now when prepositional phrase acts upon verb, they start behaving as adverbs because we know that adverbs modify the verb. Adverbs modify verbs therefore those prepositional phrases which modify the verbs are referred to as adverbs. And therefore, they can also be called adverbial phrase. They can also be called as adverbial phrase. Why adverbial phrase? Because they are acting as adverbs. And therefore, that phrase is considered to be an adverbial phrase. So, let us understand this concept through examples. So, the example can be to find who theft your diamonds look behind you now look behind you is defined as my adverbial phrase Another example is Meera drank her chocolate milk with passion. Now with passion over here, passion is my noun and with is my verb. Sorry, with is, with is my preposition. So now with preposition, passion is actually not a noun, but it is a verb, right? And passionately, passionately becomes my adverb. And passionately is equal to with passion. Passionately is equal to with passion. So I refer to passionately as my adverb. And therefore, this becomes my adverbial phrase. So, in this video, we have basically talked about phrases. And then we have discussed a special type of phrase, which is prepositional phrase. Prepositional phrase is that phrase which consists of a preposition and an object. That object can be a noun, it can be a clause or it can be a gerund. Then we also talk that prepositional phrase can modify nouns and what, whichever words modify nouns are referred to as adjectives and then the prepositional phrase can modify verbs and whichever words which modify the verbs are referred to as adverbs and then we also understood all these different concepts through examples by implementing them in sentences to get a clear view of what actually we are talking about.